Hey, what's up everybody? Markus from Future Studio University here. Thanks for tuning in to this video on how to support callbacks and promises within your Node.js modules. Before we get started, you should know that you can find the tutorial on our website and all the code snippets for easy copy and pasting. It's the first thing in the description below. Okay, let's jump right into the code. As you can see, I've prepared a sample project consisting of three files. The promise in callback.js is the file currently opened, a simple package.json file, and the index.js file, which ultimately imports the promise in callback.js and assigns the function to the example variable. And then we call the example function as the promise first and as a callback in the error first pattern afterwards. And ultimately, we are console log the data that is returned from the callback and the promise. Okay, let's get back to the promise in callback.js. We are going to implement the package.info function and support the promise beside the callback. At first, you can see that I've already imported the FS module and the path module from Node.js, and we're going to resolve the path to the package.json file and assign the value to the package path variable. Okay, let's get started with implementation of the package info function. We will wrap the actual file read of the package.json file within a promise with its resolve and reject functions. And to read the file, we're going to use the fs module and the read file function, which requires that first the package path parameter and second it returns the callback in error first pattern. Afterwards, we are checking the error. If an error queued, we are going to reject the promise with the error data and the same with the callback. And if everything went smooth, we're going to resolve the data and return the callback with null for the error and data as the second parameter. And to make sure we have the callback function available, if we're using the package info function as a promise, we're going to instantiate it with the default parameter. It's just an empty function. And as you can see, we're going to export the package info function to use it as another, in another module. Okay, let's come back. As you can see, we already had a look at the index.js function. You can see we're going to import the promise and callback, assign it to the example, and ultimately call the examples. To run the index.js file with Node, I'm switching to iterm. I've already switched the directory to our sample code. You can see the three files, and now we run the index.js file. You can see the output that is at first the, the promise that it's finished, and the second output is from callback. The callback is available. Yeah, and finally, that's the result we are expecting. Both the promise and the callback finished successfully. We have the content from the package.json file read successfully, and that's what you want to do. Thank you very much for watching the video. We really appreciate you being around and watching the videos. If you learned something new, give it a like. Subscribe if you want to see more videos on Node.js. There's definitely coming more in the future. Enjoy coding and make it rock.